Hi, I'm Peachy. Let's get down and dirty with some dirty down rust. And we might do some painting too. Welcome to the painting phase. So this initially was going to be a painting guide showing you how to paint those extra little bits on the shadow vault scenery. So that's things like the tractors and those extra weapon rack wall sections. However, a few of our customers were having some issues with their dirty down and we encountered them as well. So we're going to be doing a little troubleshooting guide showing you how to fix those things to get your dirty down at peak performance. Now, as we've already painted the vast majority of the scenery that's in the shadow vault box set as featured in this Into Dark video up here, we're just going to focus on those small little sections that just are new to this box set. Now what we are going to do is try and maintain a similar theme using the colours that were from Into Dark. Now if you've got the Shadow Vault set, there's not only really that much difference in the paints that we'll be using. The only difference really is the green that we used in Into Dark, which is Carandra's green, is different to the ones you use for your Necron. So you can always just use one of those instead. It doesn't really make much difference. As long as there's a green contrast, you'll be fine. So let's get started. Now, as always, before we begin painting, the first thing we need to do is undercoat the models. And I'm doing exactly what I did in the Into Dark video which is to spray them black and then dust over with some silver. If you want to see how that was all assembled and sprayed, that's obviously in that video, check that out. We're only going to focus on the little bits, like I said, that come in this video. And what I've done here is I've kept them all off the sprue. I've cut a little bit off here and there just for easy access, but it's just a lot easier just to hold the sprue, spray the sprue, and then paint the sprue, then come off at the end. And I've kept them just where the bits connecting to the wall, so it's not going to affect. Obviously, when you come to clipping them out, ruining your models, it won't, it'll be fine. So. Let's start getting that dirty down rust up. For some of the weapon cases, we shall use Black Legion Neat straight from the pot before we apply any rust. And we'll also save a few and apply Black Legion after the rust for a slightly different effect. For our first example, we're applying dirty down rust without the bottle being shaken. This is a common oversight of many a hobbyist. So if your rust isn't curing the way you'd expect, it's because all the sediment has settled to the bottom. We thought this particular pot didn't have a ball buried in it. However, after a good stir, it was evident it was locked tight in a goopy prison cell at the bottom of the pot, which I discovered only recently. So for a quick fix, give it a good stir and then a shake. So as you can see here, with our poorly shaken bottle of Dirty Down, we've applied it in the exact same way we normally do. Used a hairdryer, but it's not achieving the same effect. The results are quite flat and we're not seeing the variety in colour and texture. On the other hand, this pot has been shaken well, and now we shall apply this to the scenery and you'll see the difference. There are many ways to apply this, however, I'm going to apply a dollop or two into the lid and several brushes of water like so. And whilst it's on the scenery, douse it in water and for a heavier rust patch, grab some rust straight from the pot and then slap it on. This method not only helps taint the wall sections, it looks more random and effective and it also makes your rust paint go a lot further. As an option, you can also apply Black Legion after you've coated the air in Dirty Down Rust. This will give it a slightly different effect, but it'll also mix in that Dirty Down Rust and give it more of a manky kind of effect. For the bomb and the weapon rack edging, what we're going to do here is apply Bar Red straight from the pot. Don't worry, though it may look bright, it will dull down and fit nicely with your ancient corridors once it's dry. Now working gently from the top, all I'm doing here is just picking out a few subtle highlights Nothing too bold or stark, and I'm using Iron Hand Steel as a dry brush. Now, if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And also we have a Patreon, so come and support us on that as well. Again, it just helps keep the lights on, fueled in tea, and it means we can make more videos. Now for some extra details, I'm going to heavily apply Carandaras Green to any screens. Alternatively, if you've followed the Shadow Vault Guide, you strike in Scorpion Green or Warp Lightning. It's tied up to you. For a more intense glow, you could always base coat white or grey sear first, and then apply the green contrast after. 
very much like we did in the interdoc video. Using Screaming School, what we're now going to do is just quickly dry brush over any random schools across the terrain. Again, any bone will work here. I'm just using Screaming School because that's what I used in the interdoc video. With those screens and schools now picked out, after mixing a bit of water with a rust in the lid, I'm now going to add this to all those little details we've just picked out. This will help age and add that corroded ancient effect to your scenery. And there we are, our rust troubleshooting guide plus paint guide for Shadow Vault is now done. Now, again, like I said many times through this video, if you want to now do the full set, check the video out that's up and about. It'll be in the links down here as well. We've also got a whole bunch of links in the description. Now, everything we've used in this video can be bought from Element Games. We also have our German link for anyone that's living in Europe or in the continent, if you like. Again, we also have a Patreon. Again, that helps keep the lights on. There's all sorts of benefits if you join our Patreon. Polling rights, you get a Discord, so you get to chat to me, Pat, Jeff. We also have other things like one-to-one -one tuition, as well as we can give feedback on your painted models as well. So as always, thank you to our patrons for supporting us and also to our viewers because a bunch of your comments are the reason why we tweaked this video because this issue is going to be very different. But we're still that troubleshooting thrown in there. Hopefully it will help you and anyone else watching on how to use and at least troubleshoot with their dirty damn rust. Well, I love you all. Goodbye till the next video. What could that be? Put some suggestions in the comments. Have a guess. You won't guess it, but have a guess. Be fun. I don't even know if what I'll be feet camo. <laughs> oh, we're giving it away. <laughs> oh no, we're rubbish at this game. Goodbye. Love you all. <laughs>